Um, we've got our Ines Ferre who's going to take a look at all of that for us. So confusing data here. Yeah, that's right. We are seeing a little more pressure on the markets right now, though. We're watching the Dow that's down uh, more than 150 points. As Saz pointed out, the markets had opened in the green and then rolled over into the red. We're looking at the Nasdaq Composite extending its losses down almost 1% right now, and also the S&P 500 down about six uh, eight tenths of a percent. Taking a look at the 10-year Treasury note, this is going higher, up 12 basis points, so it's at 3.31 percent. Looking at the U.S. dollar index, that's also near a 20-year high that we're watching. So let's take a look right now at the sectors because we have been seeing some of the defensive sectors in the green. We were looking at utilities, healthcare, real estate that are in the green, but the rest are in the red. You've got communication services, consumer discretionary. Those are really taking the hit right now, along with financials. Looking at the NASDAQ 100, quite a bit of red that you're seeing on the screen. You've got Amazon that's down more than uh, around 2%. You've got Netflix that's down more than 4% right now. And I do want to mention what's happening with the trending tickers because we are watching our Yahoo Finance page. The top two trending tickers, that being uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and also DWAC, Digital World Acquisition. Remember of uh, this stock, this is the blank check company that was going to merge uh, with uh, former President Trump's uh, social media company. Well, they've had a vote, and it, according to Reuters, it looks like they do not have the necessary votes to delay that merger uh, for a year. So you're looking at the stock that's down and right now about 14%, guys. Nesfrey, thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right.